What's up, adventure buddies? Welcome back to this week's video. And so hopefully you've been following along in our four week series, Are We There Yet? And so we're gonna end that series with this last video where we're really gonna take you through our six top things that you need to know prior to planning your RV trip. So without further ado, cue that intro. So a little disclaimer before we get into these tips. These tips have no particular order besides being sequential in the planning process. But we feel that all six are equally as important to make sure that you enjoy the most you can out of your first RV trip. So the first thing that we feel you need to know is picking out the right RV for your travel. So particularly what you're looking for is the right size RV. And so there's a plethora of sizes out there. And so you really need to consider a few things. First off, what do you feel comfortable driving? For us, we chose a C-Class, a 23 footer, mainly because I wasn't comfortable driving the big 40 footer. Also, you need to understand from a budget standpoint, what can you actually afford and what do you actually need? Do you need one with all the amenities for just a five day trip? Or do you need one with just the essentials like we did on our 23 footer? So this one just had three beds, a kitchen, a toilet, and a shower. All we needed. And it was a nice, confined, easy way to do that. What we also did is we went for a newer model just because we were concerned about the reliability of the RV and we wanted to ensure that we had no disruptions for our RV trip. So pay a little bit of extra for a 2019 model to make sure that we were able to get to and from each destination safely. The other piece that we wanted to do is understanding where we were traveling to and what the RV requirements were in those particular destinations. For instance, we knew that we were going to Zion National Park and in that park there were a few tunnels and in those tunnels there were height requirements or height restrictions that limited what types of vehicles could pass through. So when we picked our 23 footer, we knew that that height requirement was just under the minimum to allow us to safely go through that tunnel. Otherwise, we would have had to go the long way around to enter Zion National Park. The next thing that you should consider is making sure that the RV trip matches your intended budget. So the three most common expense lines in an RV trip are gas, final destination, and food. And so taking all that into consideration when planning your travel could determine where you stop, what you eat along those stops, and how much gas you spend in between getting from point A to point B to point C to point D to point E. You get the picture, right? So really honing in on your overall itinerary and making sure that trip coincides with your desired budget. So keeping in mind, there are a variety of RV parks out there that offer different amenities with different associated costs. So really taking a second to plan out where you wanna go and how that matches up with your desired budget. The third thing that you should consider when planning your first RV trip is making sure that you book your RV sites well in advance. Believe it or not, RVing is extremely popular and that these RV sites fill up quick. So if you wanna make sure that your RV park is in close proximity to your destination, you wanna book that in advance. If you need to ensure that your RV park has all the needed amenities, book in advance. What do I mean by amenities? Well, some RV parks have full hookups and some don't. And so sometimes you need the ability to hook up into the electricity, to hook up into the campsite's water, and also drain your sewage. And so making sure that you plan out and book your campsites well in advance will help ensure that you can accomplish all that you desire to do on your travel itinerary. So remember, make sure when planning your first RV trip to book your sites well in advance. The fourth thing that we should mention in 
really understanding before going on that RV trip is paying attention to how to safely operate your RV. Now, what do I mean by that? So when you get the RV, your instructor or the salesperson from that RV rental place will go through all the amenities and all the instructions of how to safely operate the RV. Well, don't be a bozo and actually pay attention because these are gonna be crucial in the success of your overall travel. So there's a lot of things to learn and they're not overly complicated. You just gotta pay attention. So for instance, how do you operate your generator? How do you hook up the water, the cable? How do I turn on electricity safely? And most importantly, how do I drain that gross sewage tank? Is it the black lever first, then the gray, or the gray, then the black? If you don't know what I mean, you're sure to find out. So remember, before getting into that RV, really hone in and pay attention to the operating instructions given by the RV rental. Now the fifth thing that you should really consider prior to planning out your RV trip, similar to booking your campsites in advance, we recommend doing a little bit of research on understanding the parking situations at your final destinations, assuming you're not just going to an RV park and parking. So for instance, what I mean is some destinations don't have RV parking or some destinations have RV parking that then will require a shuttle to get to your final destination. So you wanna make sure you can plan to get from point A to point B effectively. And so the other thing you need to consider is that you can't park everywhere, especially based on the size of your RV. So for instance, you can't go through drive through anymore. So again, you shouldn't need to because you're packing your food, hence the whole purpose of traveling in an RV. You don't need to stop because you have a kitchen in the back of your vehicle. Use it. So make sure you pay attention to where you can and cannot park while driving this RV. So the last thing we feel you need to know is that you need to adjust the estimate of time of arrival. Why? Because realistically, RVs can't go as fast as cars. So a good rule of thumb is to adjust your itinerary to accommodate a slower travel time. For example, we use an average speed of 50 miles an hour when we planned our trip. Keeping this in mind, estimating your arrival times at your evening destinations as it can be harder to park the larger vehicles in the dark, especially for those who aren't experienced like Matt. And so there you have it. Our top six things we feel you need to know prior to traveling on your first RV trip. And so we hope you enjoyed our series called what? RV There Yet. And if you did, please consider giving us that big thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. And we have a ton of additional content coming, especially around the holidays in our new series called Holiday Pandemic. So remember, life's an adventure. Who are you going on with?